Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Project Gotham Racing 4. Today is episode number 9, and we are carrying on where we left off in the last episode. Uh, so we are in the land of America, and we are going to be... Uh, what car should we drive today? Um, I'm thinking we should go for a Caterham, or maybe a Lotus. Maybe a Lotus we should go for. And we'll take our design this time. Uh, something that we didn't do in the last episode because we were stupid. Uh, so this is a eliminator. So we need to make sure that we are uh, ahead of everyone else before the timer ends, pretty much. Oh, the engine of that exceed sounds really nice. <laughs> right, let's go then. Okay, so top speed isn't a strong point for this car. But what it lacks in speed, it makes up for in cornering ability. Okay, yeah, it really is lacking straight line speed. On a track that relies on it, on a straight, yeah, that's not a good idea. Oh, and the Aston Martin's overtaken us. No. Oh, nearly. I was just trying to get past that Aston Martin for that first corner. But we didn't get it. We just missed it. Right, on to the next event then. That was disgusting. Come on, man. <laughs> this has gone horribly wrong with this Lotus Exige. Uh, I don't think it's going to be getting picked again anytime soon. Right, New York, iTech race meeting. We're in the rain now as well. Okay, the Aston Martin didn't get off the line at all. Yes, we're making up for it in cornering ability. We're having frame drops though, which is a little bit unusual. We're on a four lap race though, so we've got plenty of opportunities to try and overtake. The good thing about this track is it's not long enough to get a decent length straight by the looks of it um, and I'm really hoping that we don't ever get overtaken on a straight this is the longest straight out of them all so as long as we can hold them off till then That was a brake drift. That was good. Who is that? I do not recognise that gamer tag. Someone has changed their gamer tag and is obviously on their Xbox 360 right now. Okay, yeah, we're going to be steady third place for now. Not a great way to um, start this episode, that's for sure. Yep, 
Yep, they're already on to lap three. Here we go. We're now on to lap three. Five seconds behind. And we are slowly being overtaken right now. The low top speed really wasn't a good idea. I just saw the 10 grip and was like, oh yeah, that's a good car. Yeah, it wasn't. That thing is quick behind us. It wants my blood. That was a decent corner there. Come on, hopefully we stay far enough ahead. Fastest lap yet. Right, let's try and get this lap to be the fastest. We can totally do it. Managed to control through the uh, power sliding bit. The aquaplaning. That was a very quick corner there. One and a half seconds behind that car is. Not a very big gap, is it? And that is it, across the finish line, fastest lap. Uh, third place, we've got 7,000 kudos there. Come on! Oh no, he got first place again. That sledgehammer seems to be really overpowered in this. Like, it has done really well. Uh, right, third event, overtake. Overtake is good. Right, we need to overtake seven of them. Oh, that's a Mitsubishi. Those are going to be much more difficult than I ever imagined to overtake. The frames are dropping like crazy in these stormy weathers. That was a frame drop and a half there. I think after this video we're going to have to stop recording and give the Xbox a chance to cool down. Because it might be overheating right now. Yeah, that's very hot. Oh! There we go, we overtook. Nice. That's a Ford GT. Ah, but that's the old one. That's the Mark II. GT40, Mark II. I think it was from 1969, wasn't it? 
I'm pretty sure it was. Come on, let's overtake him. Oh, we're not drafting anymore. We're not getting that speed boost. Okay, that's a motorbike. Right, so we've got six. I hope we don't get second because we're matching. But we are not getting any more vehicles at all overtaken. Second place. Even though we should be first because it's not fair. But they put us behind the other guy. We should go up one place though. That's good. Right, next. What are we on to now? Final stage. Hopefully this one goes a little bit better. Uh, so this is time versus kudos. We may have a slight chance with this. We've just got to try and drift as much as physically possible. If this car has no drifting talent, we will find out. Okay, it has a little bit of drifting talent. It's okay. So we have to get two stars pretty much to get an extra time boost for the star bonus. We lost total control there. We've got 18 seconds. Plus six seconds. Seven seconds extra. How do you physically get those kudos lower? Game fourth. Overall is not going to look very promising. Third. I would be lucky if I still have third place. I didn't get that. Fourth. That wasn't very good. 26 points. That's the worst standing we have had yet. Uh, in the entire series, so, ouch, not very good at all, um, so we are now at 158,000 kudos, which is good, um, so we can equip those, uh, we can unlock Lamborghini, I think we said we wanted to get, so we've now got the Lamborghini pack, which has unlocked, uh, vehicles from different level groups, Um, yes. We'll go with that. Oh, it's a bit late now anyways. Uh, so we've got ourselves an invitation. All the Subaru 22B. Okay, so we've got to do a uh, kudos challenge. So we've got to score a target amount of kudos. And I think this is going to be like drift kudos. Score 17,000 of drift kudos. Let's do this. Mm. 
Nice. Okay, we didn't get enough kudos there. There we go. A little bit of extra kudos there. Let's try drifting here. Yes, nice. Ah, uh, we didn't get them. Nice. Come on, come on, we got it, we got it. Let's get those kudos. Lovely, finished. Weathermaster, 25 gamer score. What's that for then? Win races in rain, fog, and snow in either arcade or single player career mode. Nice. Uh, we have won the Invitational. So we have unlocked a Subaru Impe Impreza 22B, which is quite nice. That is a nice vehicle, uh, the Subaru Impreza. Uh, so we got 20,000 kudos. So we can go on to a one more championship. Uh, this is going to be a B-class championship. Uh, this is going to be in the rain, though. Okay, not a problem. Um, I'm going to actually take the Murcielago, because that is a nice car. And we're going to take it with our design as well. So we can give the Murcielago that we just up, uh, unlocked and give that a try. Because I can imagine that's going to be a pretty nice car to drive. Here we go. Eliminator. Oh my gosh, listen to that car. Oh my gosh, this goes around corners like crazy. That's an aerial atom up there, which is going to be a little bit difficult to catch up with. But we are in a Murcia Lago that can go around about 200 miles an hour. Maybe 190. Come on, we can do this. It's an eliminator race, so we need to make sure we don't get eliminated. That corner was amazing. There we go. Good corners going in here. Woo! Nice. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eliminated. Survived elimination. Alright, let's go even faster for this lap, see if we can go better. Oof. Okay, we didn't we definitely are not doing better this lap. Do you know this Las Vegas is very much like the Las Vegas in the Crew 2, and I'm wondering whether the Crew 2 they went for a realistic vibe for Las Vegas. That was still the fastest lap and we had that massive crash.
320 kudos there. Where is this finish line? Let's get this banked fastest lap again. I don't think we could have got a faster lap than that, to be honest. There we go, fastest lap. And we got max kudos as well. Stunning corners here. car is nowhere to be seen. That is an amazing car. Oh my gosh. I didn't really... I never used to like the Murcielago. I used to think it was ugly and that the Gallardo was better. But obviously the Gallardo was their budget car. Their performance car obviously was the Murcielago. And I just never sort of got onto it. it I didn't really like it that much. Now, I love it. It's one of those cars that I just think, oh, that was something. And that obviously then turned the Merchant Lago, once they made the SV, then turned into the Aventador. And obviously the Aventador, it's, I think the Aventador's coming to the end of its line soon. So soon we should see a new Lamborghini replace the Aventador, hopefully. Um, within the next two years. Because I really want to see a brand new Lamborghini. These cone gates though are so much fun. When you're in a car that actually turns. As I say that I crash. Slow, 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 slow. Ow! We hit the corner, which wasn't very good. There we go, that was amazing corners there. Right, where's this finish line? We need to get there soon. Oh, we've got a three second penalty, I didn't realise. Here we go, finish line's just up here. And then lap two. Just about managing to keep control of the car through those corners. Here we go. Nearly. Come on. That was a terrible corner there. Xbox 360 all up the side. Microsoft advertisements everywhere. Yeah, now that I think about it, this is a Xbox exclusive, isn't it? I forgot this was an exclusive. And it just chopped it because Forza was doing so much better.
Even though now Forza isn't doing great at the moment. I mean, Forza Horizon 4 has done amazing, but that's because they've given away copies of Forza Horizon 4 for free with Game Pass. So, uh, so it's stage two done. Come on. There we go. 33,000 points in total. Hopefully we can get some more in the next two stages. Uh, this is a speed challenge. Oh, nice. 500 miles an hour total we need to try and aim for. Okay, we did horribly there. Right, we're in sixth now. This is where we get to test out the top speed of this. And there we go, 529. 210 miles an hour. That is a high top speed. Right, let's see our championship standings after that. 49,000 points total. Let's go on to the final stage, which is a street race. Ooh, nice. Street races are good. Street races are very good. Let's go. Come on, Lamborghini. Don't let me down. Nine 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 kudos total. Great corners going through there. Come on then, let's see this top speed. Oh, that wasn't very good. That was not a very good corner. Uh, let's take a look at the interior. Oh, this is nice. I forgot how nice the Murcielago interior was. The Murcielago is a stunning car, though. that corner. That was a shady corner there. Oh, and the 
A uh, little aerial atom has just overtaken us. This is a long circuit though. It's a very nice circuit though. Some of the corners flow amazingly. Three minutes so far. This race has definitely been very long. That is McDonald's. That is actual McDonald's. There we go, and on to the second lap now. Here we go. Let's see if we can get an even faster lap. Nice drifts going on there. There's a casino there, just called Casino. People literally go here just to give away money. That's the one thing I never understood about Las Vegas. It's full of casinos. You literally go there to give away money to these people. Why? Just go on a holiday somewhere nice. Somewhere sunny where you can enjoy yourself, not gamble away your money. Because trust me, you very rarely, very rarely will come out with more money than when you started. Gambling is bad for you. Oh, power slides all throughout those corners there. Ah, that wasn't a very good corner. The one thing that I don't like about this game as much is the fact that none of the active aero works, which is a shame. It is a missed opportunity. However, this game is old and I wouldn't expect it from like every single game from that time range. I think this came out in 2007, so yeah. You don't really expect that kind of thing. That train though, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Right, we're nearly at the end of the race. Just got a couple more corners left to go. All 
Alright, let's get around this corner properly this time and not mess it up. And that is it. That is uh, another win in the bag. And episode number nine finished. Uh, let's just see how many kudos we got in total. We got 18,837. We didn't even get max kudos. Wait, our on track total was higher. 3837. Is it higher on longer tracks then? Must be. Uh, and in total for our championship, we got... How many? How many? 67,000 kudos. Amazing. 35 points to go towards our championship leaderboard. And that is that done. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.